Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use nested for loops to uh, print either a table or to work with a matrix in a Python program. Um, you might want to do this if you were, for example, trying to produce a table as output or if you were trying to work with some kind of a two-dimensional array or matrix in your program. In this case, I'm going to print a multiplication table to the screen, much like what you see, exactly like what you see here below. Um, so we're going to look at uh, writing some code that would enable us to do that. Um, so if I wanted to do something like this, if I wanted to produce some output like this, I'm going to need to produce uh, several things here. I'm going to need column headings, okay? I'm going to need a, a separator line here. I'm going to need row headings. These are my row headings here. And of course, the body of the table itself, which are the, uh, the multiplication facts. Uh, the, uh, so for example, 7 times 11 is 77 here, if we follow the row across and the uh, column down. So that's what I'm looking to produce. If I am going to do something like that, I'm going to first of all have to produce my column headings and we can see that the first column heading here is indented a ways and so I'm going to go ahead and do a print statement to indent that. Now I'm going to put uh, five spaces for each of my column headings including my my row headings out here so I'm going to print out here and then there's a vertical bar as well so I'm going to print uh, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces and I don't want it to go to a new line in this case, so I'm going to say end is equal to the empty string. So end is the, is the end of the line in a print statement. And if we say it's equal to the empty string, that means we don't want a new line uh, at the end of our print. So we're saying, what do we want at the end of our print statement? And by saying the empty string, we're just saying we don't want anything, which means that it won't go to a new line. So print uh, six spaces, no new line, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do our column headings at this point. So we have 16 column headings from 0 to 15, so I'm going to do 4i in range here, and I'm going to do 16 so that I go from 0 to 15. And for each of these, I'm going to use a format string to do this so I get it right justified nicely. So to do that, I'm going to say that I've got um, uh, percent %5d. There's five uh, spaces there in the width of that field. And then I'm going to do a vertical bar. And uh, to be the, the vertical bar on the right side there. And then a percent sign, an i. And I don't want to go to a new line. So I'm going to say end equals the empty string again. So if we go ahead and run this to see what we've got so far, We've got our column headings printed there. Now the cursor is currently sitting right here waiting for me to uh, print more things and I want it to move down to a new line at this point and I don't want that inside my for loop because otherwise I'd move down to a new line after printing each of these things which I don't want to have happen. So not indented under the for loop I want to print once here to move my cursor to a new line. Then I need to print my uh, horizontal line that I had there, and that's some underscores. And I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 underscores, and then I'm going to do times. And uh, I've got 16 here, and I'm going to do one more, so that's 17 total that I'm going to be working with here. So we go along, and there we go. We've got our horizontal line to work with. After I've done that, then I'm ready to go ahead and start uh, printing the body of the table. So I'm going to do for i in range, and um, I'm going to do six, all 16 uh, columns here uh, along one row. So 16 rows to begin with, and then I'm going to go ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to print the, uh, the row heading. So that's going to be a print and I'm going to print i um, with a format string, uh, percent %5d, um, and then a vertical bar, and then percent %i, 
And again, I don't want to go to a new line, so it's going to be end equals the empty string there to uh, stay on that line. And then I need to print the body of the table. So at this point, I'm going to do uh, all the columns in one of these rows. So 4j in range um, 16. And within that row then, so within row i, I'm going to print all, uh, all j of the columns is the way to read that. And the, the uh, columns look like this again. So we're getting used to this idea of a format string. Um, percent 5D vertical bar and then the thing that we want to print in this case is I times J our multiplication fact here so I have to put that in parentheses to make sure that I times J is done first then the percent for the format string pulls that uh, I times J value into the format string and again I don't want to go ahead and go to a new line at this point. Now after I have completed each of the columns in one of these rows, I want to go ahead and do a print here to go to the next row within the table. So I'll do a print there and I think we're pretty close here at this point to getting the output that we want. And in fact we we have it right there. So here we have an example of nested for loops. This for loop here takes care of each of the rows of the table, all 16 rows of the table from 0 to 15. And then within that for loop, we have another for loop that takes care of each column within one row. So for every row, the way to read this is for every row, let's print all of the different columns of that row. So this demonstrates how to use nested for loops to either generate a table or it turns out you can use this kind of this concept to also work with a two-dimensional matrix in your program. Matrices are something that we might cover a little bit later in one of the other videos. For now that's that's uh, how we print a table using nested for loops.